come and get it. Hello everybody, what is up, Prof Toast here, and welcome back to Prof Toast News. So yesterday we just got them covering a possible new trademarking in Japan of a slimmer version of the PlayStation Vita. Turns out this wasn't quite so. So according to DualShockers, the trademarking that was on the bottom of the page actually refers to a positional change in, of an element within a product rather than a modification of its design. As such, Sony filed, Sony's filed request isn't a reference to what many assumed was supposedly the Super Slim Vita 3000. According to Sony's full trademark listing, the registration is actually in reference to three-dimensional position of the face buttons, not the shape or general form factor of the console itself. Within these facts, it seems that Sony hasn't yet filed a trademark for the third iteration of the PlayStation Vita. That, however, doesn't preclude that the company may, may not be revisiting the handheld again sometime soon. If Sony does end up refreshing the hardware uh, once more, I'm kind of curious what we would want actually changed or added. So yeah, so I'm kind of glad that it wasn't a redesign because honestly, from what I saw there, it basically was kind of like, okay, so you guys just basically added a HDMI port and didn't really change much else. So honestly, they do actually redesign this thing. What I would like to see is possibly a, um, two shoulder buttons at the top because that would actually make things a lot better for some of the games and actually make the whole uh, was it remote play for the PS4 probably a lot more accessible seeing that you would actually have the full array of buttons. So that'd be kind of cool. Of course you still wouldn't have the <coughs> R3 buttons but that can be dealt without. So other than that, I mean I kind of doubt they're going to go back to the OLED display just because that would be more costly and from what I see I'm pretty sure they're trying to keep the cost down to entice sales. So other than that, I mean, the form factor seems pretty nice, just probably make sure it's durable and doesn't feel like it's going to break. I mean, if they can improve the battery life, that's even better. Uh, honestly, a change that I would really, and I'm sure many of you would like to see, is to take out the proprietary memory cards. That, that's just really stupid, it's honestly just a cash grab. Honestly, just put freaking micro SD cards, you know how much simpler that would be? And let alone so much more cheaper to actually put memory in their device. Because quite honestly, like, sit there with me one, I would love to have 64 gigs just to fit everything on one memory card, but fortunately that I'm not spending freaking 80, 90, or 100 bucks on a freaking memory card. That just sounds ridiculous. Seeing that a micro SD for 64 gigs is maybe like 30 bucks at the most. So yeah, I don't know, let me, if you, if you guys see this, basically, kind of, comment, shout out in the comments below, basically tell me what, if you, they did decide to do a Vita 3000, what would you like to see from it? What things should be changed or added? Because honestly, yeah, it's so, so far my two thing is just add some some new shoulder, uh, second shoulder buttons at the top, so it'd probably feel more natural with a first person shooter and probably be more accessible to remote play. And of course, basically put micro SD cards or at least some other form of memory card that doesn't cost an arm and leg to buy. And I don't know, even though it's probably not a much used feature, at least for the heck of it, just increase the camera on the back to like maybe one 1.3 megapixels. I highly doubt that's going to cost them all that much more money to actually add in there. Because right now all they got is a VGA, which is utter crap for pictures. So it's really, other than the cards they include, which they haven't really done much else with. So basically the camera doesn't really have much else feature except for maybe a few games um, that actually kind of issues the camera. Other than that, it's not really much of a use feature, so I don't know. Maybe improve that, or I won't say take it out because then you couldn't play some games. But yeah, those are so yeah, those are like three things that I would probably change. Other than that, everything else seems fine. Oh, and also possibly I don't know, give us some of the colors from Japan. That'd be kind of cool because Japan has like a whole freaking array of colors, and all we get is maybe a black and a white color if we're lucky. So yeah, so that's about it I have for this article. So uh, it's kind of good, hopefully maybe when they do come back with a V3000 and maybe something really cool. I don't really think they need to go thinner, it's already pretty damn thin as it is without making it too weak. Alright, so that's about it for today. Um, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe because it definitely does help a lot. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys later and tune in next time for some more Prof Toast news.